You know, the G20 came about because uh, we had a problem that the G7 couldn't solve. G20 is now becoming, you know, the G20 plus a group of friends, plus a group of international organizations. I think as you look forward, you know, sort of globalization, trade, investment, jobs, um, they're going to have to be more uh, Middle Easterners and Africans who come to the table. I absolutely agree with him. Innovation is the key to the future, particularly here in China as they're going through a period of rebalancing and restructuring. Innovation is going to drive economies worldwide. China is a major player in the world economy today. I do believe that China uh, will have an important role to play in future more than in the past uh, in its governance structure of the uh, financial structure of the world as a whole. China is the largest and most successful emerging market and therefore can provide financial and technical assistance, uh, can promote trade with these countries through infrastructure, infrastructure development and through FDI or foreign direct investment can provide really support to the growth of the industrial base of those emerging markets. It's on the OB One Belt One Road initiative uh, at Nazarbayev University, uh, the university that I had in, in Kazakhstan in Astana, we were privileged to have uh, Mr. President Xi uh, indeed announcing the, the New Silk Road initiative, the One Belt initiative there at the university. It is um, a very, very, uh, certainly ambitious, but I think a very welcome initiative in the sense that any time you can link, you know, half of global population together and uh, create uh, opportunities for everybody to benefit. I think the New Silk Road Initiative, One Belt, One Road, is a very important initiative because it's a strategic project. And I believe also uh, this project has a strong cultural aspect in order to have all these countries understand better one another. And we know that uh, uh, when we have a better understanding, we have more peace, more stability, and more growth. So I think it's for the benefit of everybody. I think community of common destiny is uh, 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 looking at Asia as a community of uh, shared prosperity. So the Chinese approach to, of the win-win cooperation uh, would, create, would lead to peace, would lead to cooperation, and will lead to, to development. And I think that these are major essence of the common, of uh, uh, the community of common destiny.